once you measure this data, then you, then we go through the sound intensity analysis where you can do this uh, visualization of the data measurements to check the data quality, right? And you can check whether the data is compliant with the ISO standards. The field indicators are calculated automatically and then you'll be able to see them. And then also you'll also be able to generate this uh, uh, acoustic maps, right? Um, to identify the hotspots and do the sound power calculations and so on. Okay, so, so this intensity analysis worksheet, it is uh, broken down into four areas. First is you take a look at the data, then you do the data visualization. And this is where you determine what are the uh, calculations that you want to make on the bottom left hand side and the 3D visualization of the results is done on this uh, on this bottom right hand side here. So it's a nice intuitive layout to help you guide through the data quality checks and show you the results. Okay. So with that background, let's go quickly go into the to do a demonstration in the software to see how how this whole workflow works. And we'll do like a dummy measurement here, right? Sure. And so with for that, I'll I'm going to skip out of this presentation and then go into the test lab uh, software. Here in the intensity analysis, I can load the data that I have just taken. I can click on and and uh, there I can see I have measured the I have measured the intensity for this top surface, right? Not at the other surfaces. So that's why they are saying C. Uh, well, they are showing the green boxes. C means calculated, M means measured. Okay. So here it will show that the sound intensity is measured. That's why it is M. Sound pressure is also measured and sound power is calculated, right? So for the top surface, that is, we made the four measurements and that's why they are shown here. And we did some dummy measurements and we can we can look at uh, look at them in terms of octaves to see whether they um, whether everything looks okay or not. And then and they, they are the field indicators here, the F1, F2, F3, F4, they are automatically calculated. Remember, we use the 9614-1 standard for this measurement, so that's why they are shown there. If you use the 9614-2, similarly, we'll get F1 and F2. There are only two field indicators for that. Once we do that, now we can go to this um, calculations and we can say calculate bands and I can look at the my result, right? So, and this is the sound power measured for the uh, at the four points, right? Now they look identical almost at the different frequencies because we just did some dummy measurements, but um, you can see that picture here. That's and the sound power or the sound intensity? This is the, this is the sound intensity. Okay, you're correct. just right. want to make sure. Yeah, you're correct, absolutely. So we calculated the sound power also, and then we can save it, save the results, and, and we go here to the navigator, and we can look at the sound intensity results, right? We have this uh, uh, acoustic mesh geometry, and you can see that picture that we brought in, right? For the, and I can I can similarly show this uh, uh, sound power for each of the octave bands, and then display that there. Right? So it's it's a very quick and easy way to um, to do the measurements and check the data quality, and finally generate reports.